Avery, what's been the best thing that you've seen in spring uh, training camp so far? Really just getting out there with the guys again. It's been a really upbeat at practice. A lot of fun just being able to um, go out there and like get our offense back on the field and get things rolling again. So we have a lot of talented players. Offense line doing a great job. A lot of receivers getting in the mix. Dylan, um, obviously, getting out there, him and DJ. Um, we have a lot of young backs like Jimmy, Joe, Joe Jackson. Those guys are doing their thing too. So uh, it's just been a lot of fun to just practice again and, and get out of uh, lifting and running. Just ask Dylan about this, but does it feel like you guys are, you know, it's been like a reunion having the two of you on the field again? I mean, I'd say so. I, it, like growing up, we played together. Obviously, everybody knows that. And then having to compete against each other in high school, like, we knew exactly what the, the other the person was going to do that game. We knew they were going to go off. It was just who's going to get the ball last. So being able to have that explosiveness on my team and not have to compete against it is um, definitely something that I'm, I was looking forward to. You had Dylan in the off season. Have you noticed any tweaks to the offense to kind of work him in with some of his unique abilities? Yeah, I mean, he's just explosive with the ball in his hand. So just trying our best to, to get it to him in space and let him do his thing. Um, whether that's out of the backfield and any type of motion, um, even splitting them out and letting them play some receiver, just kind of using them in, in any way we can so that we can keep defenses on their on their toes. How settled is this offense right now? I mean, do you feel like you're still a giant work in progress or are you getting there? I wouldn't say we're a work in progress. I'd say definitely the spring was where we kind of had to get those kinks out, adding in some new concepts, some new schemes, figuring some stuff out. But now it's just – uh, we know what, what we're supposed to do. We know our techniques. Uh, we know what the, the coaches want from us, so it's just going out there and executing it. Give me your thoughts on the other guys in the quarterback room. It's just it, it's really, it's, it's a really fun group to be around. Um, we have a couple young guys. Um, Taekwon transferred, and he's, he's an older guy. He's been um, to a couple places. He's bringing in some, some knowledge for me that I could learn from. Um, just being able to compete with him and, and Knuth and, and Blake and Hudson. All those guys, we just we have a really good time together. We have a lot of uh, a lot of fun together. Um, we spend a lot of time together, obviously, in, in fall camp. But whenever it's time to get to work and get down to business, we, we do that as well. So it's just it's a great group to be around and a great group of people to just compete with every day. On paper, you guys are more explosive and, and not just Dylan. Has it felt like it's played out that way after a week of practice? I mean, I'd say so. Um, we've looked really explosive at times. We've we've just been trying to just get the ball to, to our playmakers. And like you said, we have a lot of playmakers, a lot of people that can do special things with the ball in their hands. So it's just it's just my job to, to get it to them and, and let them go out there and do their thing. And who have been some of the, I guess, tougher guys to go up against defensively? Can I give you guys fit so far? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the, the people that you'd kind of think of. I mean, um, obviously, DJ, Dylan. Uh, we got Keegan's been looking really good, J-Jack. Um, Seif, Jace, those kind of those names that you've been hearing, um, those guys have looked really good. But I wouldn't. You, you never know when the season rolls around. You never know who that who that guy that's going to emerge is. I mean, Jimmy White's looked really good in practice. Joe Jackson looks really good in practice. Um, Trey Spivey. We have a lot of guys that haven't really got the opportunity to show what they can do in a live game on the field yet. But I wouldn't. I don't be surprised if they do have a breakout um, season this fall. You're, when you're a backup, you're told to prepare like you're the starter. Now that you you know you're going in that you will be starting game one, does that change anything for you mentally, or is it is it a different feeling? It's a different feeling for sure, but I feel like mentally it doesn't really change anything because, like you said, prepare like you're the starter. So as far as preparation goes for me, um, nothing changes. Just the fact that whenever we do, whenever the offense takes the field for the first time, I'm going to be out there. So just not having to worry about, hey, do I have to ride the bike? for the whole first quarter. Am I going to get thrown in here? Am I going to get thrown in here? Just being able to go out there when I'm already warm and not have to just go out there cold or warm up again. So it's definitely a great feeling and obviously a blessing to be the starting quarterback here. But I wouldn't say I prepare any different. Is there, is there, do you see a, maybe a step that, that, that Keegan has taken from, from last year to this year? You know, Coach Kleiman has said a lot of nice things about him. and. It, Seems more locked in. Yeah, he's he's for sure more locked in, and I feel like the biggest jump he had is this off season. He really took in that leadership role. He's really a quiet to himself type of guy, and this off season we had to call on him to to step up and be more vocal because whenever he does talk, he has a lot of really good things to say, and a lot of people can learn from Keegan because he's played college football. He's played at some of the in some of the highest games on the highest stages, 
So just being able to take as much knowledge from him and then on the field he's um, looked light years, like re really, really good this, this fall. And he's looked really good this, this spring as well. So just continuing to just elevate his game and just my job, just getting him the ball. So um, if I see single coverage his way, I, I'm, I'm playing over there the whole, the whole time. What's impressed you so much? Obviously, a lot of the guys that were blocking for you last year are gone. There are some returners. What, what, what's impressed you most about this, this new set of guys that you have in front? Just great leadership. I feel like we had a couple guys, two or three guys that played a lot last year that are back returning. And then we have um, Kilty coming in, and he played a lot. He's played a lot of football. And then we have a, a younger center who hasn't necessarily played as much in real games, but been around a lot of these guys and played in some some high level games as well. So just those guys, you know, taking in, um, it's like they're playing with a chip on their shoulder. They're doing a really good job this fall. They did a great job in the spring. And a lot of people think, hey, we lost all these starters. We're not going to be able to block as well. This, that, and the other. How's K-State offensive line going to look this year? And those guys, you know, they, they took it as a challenge and they've done a really good job. They worked um, and they stepped up to the plate. And, and I'm, I'm really thankful that I got those guys blocking for me this year. <laughs> yeah, come on, get it right, Ryan. Um, Avery, in your experience, what makes it hard to throw against your corners, Keenan and Jacob, in practice? <laughs> Those dudes, they're scrappy. They can they can get down. Um, they can they can press. Um, they can play off. They they play really good catch. But I feel like the really the hardest thing is just how quick, explosive, how fast they are, and and how good of a job they do reading eyes. They're really good um, reading eyes. They they played a lot of football, so they. Um, are really good at jumping routes and really just athletic uh, athletic guys that, that know know ex exactly what to do whenever they're um, split out there. So it's, they're really hard to go against, um, especially in man. They play, they're really good in man. Um, but I would definitely say that just their knowledge, the football knowledge and, and just how scrappy and, and quick and fast they are definitely sets them apart. What have been your early impressions of the tight end room without Ben Sennett this year? Um, we've had some, some guys step up. I feel like Swanee's had a really good fall just in five or six days of practice. And then um, obviously we have Oaks coming back from last year. And then some of those younger guys, like um, Lofton hasn't necessarily got his chance on Saturdays yet, but he's looked really good this fall and looked good in the spring. And then those young guys are just continuing to improve and learn. So I'm, I'm really impressed with what, what we put forward so far. And you know, like that with here, we're going to util utilize our tight ends. We're going to use two, three guys at a time. So just everybody being able to go out there, run routes, block, um, catch, and just know, know what they're doing. So I'm really excited to see what they're, those guys are going to display this fall.